What is going on guys, it's Waffle here and welcome back to some more bug snacks in the Isle of Big Snacks. Now last time we left off, we went and got ourselves another cappuccino, accidentally caught it the exact same way that we caught it the very first time. As well as uh, we, we donated one of the cappuccinos to Gramble's farm. I don't know if it's still over here. Uh, yeah, it looks like it got... <laughs> It looks like you got switched up. Oh my gosh, the centipede with the chef's hat on looks amazing. And then we got all oh, the weedy worm. Oh my gosh, everything with the, the chef's hat is just so cute. And then we got a burrito with the Lisper hat on. <laughs> and the Friday, yeah. The Friday always just looks good with the hat on because his head is just kind of hat shaped. You know, it's just kind of ready for a hat. But uh, it looks like up here. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, Gramble's over there. Wait, which, which area is this again? I forgot the name of it. Uh, Sugar Pine Woods, yeah. Looks like Sugar Pine Woods is going to be the area where the, the next hat is going to be in. And you guys actually commented saying, yeah, apparently the hat cannot be on like a flying bug sack. So that's actually pretty good. So I guess we didn't have to look out for the Sweetie Flies last episode looking out for the uh, the Lisper hat. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so can I switch these guys? Yeah, you can swap them out and I can put, yeah, I can put a Cappuccino over here. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the big old chef's hat on him. Now, can I have multiple cappuccinos, or is it just one? Or yeah, I, I guess if I wanted multiple cappuccinos, I need to uh, to donate another one. Oh yeah, and you guys also said, hey, what happens if you donate a big snacks to the? Yeah, we have a bunker royale in our inventory. Let's donate this. So is it going to be normal sized or? Okay, yeah, it's good. Or you know the size that we know about. I, I I guess you know because of the whole story and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the big size is not its normal size. So I guess, yeah, this is the normal size. It's a double cheeseburger with tater tot, like tusks and arms and legs or whatever there and a big old chef's hat on too. What do we looks like, uh, whoops. What's he look like with different hats on? I don't know, the party hat? I love the party hat so much. It just fits so well. Shelda's crown. Shelda's crown actually looks pretty good on the, uh, Bunger Royale. I might just keep that. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. And of course, the cappuccino over here just yelling his name constantly. So there you go. I guess that answers that question. What does a what does a big snacks look like whenever you donate it? It's not going to be huge. It's just going to be the the, the smaller normal version of it. But anyways, over here I did get some comments from you guys saying, hey, if you go to sleep, and this is kind of like a two birds with one stone sort of thing. I do want to sleep. Uh, I don't know what, what time is it right now, by the way. 3 a.m. Eh, let's, let's go until noon. Uh, you guys said if I sleep, apparently. This is going to get upgraded? Is that it? Uh, I guess not upgrade. Someone actually left a comment saying after like 10 or so missions, their uh, hut got upgraded to be like two layers or whatever. So yeah, may maybe you do sleep and it will get upgraded, but um, I guess we just don't have enough missions done, unfortunately. And, oh man, I forgot to mention this. I guess it's still early in the video. I'll, I'll still mention it right now, but a big thank you to these people who left super thanks on the last episode of Bug Snacks in the Isle of Big Snacks. First up, we have Mathis Sheppens. Completely mispronouncing your name there, I'm sure, but uh, apologies for that. But also, thank you very much for the super thanks. But also a thank you to Snickers the Cat, Anthony Haggerty, Izzy Mungare, and Red Devil. Thank you guys all very much for the super thanks on last episode of Bug Snacks in the Isle of Big Snacks. If I read out all you guys' comments like I did last time, I'd probably take up the whole entire video, but I guess I'll just give you guys shout outs, but uh, I won't read the comments, but I did read all of them and replied to all of them anyways, so hopefully you guys understand. And if there's anyone else who wants to help support the channel by leaving a super thanks, be sure to click that little heart icon with a dollar sign in it and it says thanks, and you can send a super thanks and I'll give you guys a shout out on the next episode. But anyways, back to what we were doing. Yeah, so we have another mailbox mission over here. We could do some more mailbox missions, and I guess eventually we'll get the uh, second story of our hut upgraded. Maybe Shanlo's going to come over here and do it, but for right now, yeah, we need to get like the three, or actually the four different types of sodies over here. We need to get the Mount Sodi, we need to get the La Sodi, the Sodi D, and the... Oh, which one's the last? Oh yeah, Dr. Sodi. <laughs> I finally remembered all of them right there, right? But yeah, also, since we went to sleep right there, I do want to go back to Boiling Bay. I do want to go back to the triplicate area. Let's go check again. All right, let's go inside the triplicate space. So it's a new day. I reload the game. It's, it's, it's a new loading of the game. I guess you can just grab it as there. A uh, bunch of different things to, to try and like respawn this guy in. Did he actually respawn this time? Oh, it doesn't look like... Oh yeah, another thing I was wanting to try out. Let me get a little bit closer in case he needs to like get in render distance. Yeah, he's not on that table. One thing I was thinking about while editing last episode, uh, where is it on here? You could do it, do some do, collect more water, hydrate or else. I feel like this over here, cause this doesn't do anything, right? I feel like maybe like dispensing this out, maybe that's gonna help out uh, respawning the cappuccino. So now that I dispense some water, even though it's just going into this little, little pocket there, I feel like maybe that has something to do. Maybe we can go to 
Floofty, actually, can we even sleep in Floofty's like tent or cot or whatever they have over in this little cubby right outside this Tropica area? Uh, yes, I can. Okay, so it's midnight right now. Yes, let's sleep until midnight. There you go. Ugh. And there you go. Yeah, it's midnight right now. I'm, I'm going to sleep until noon again. So basically another day has passed at this point, right? I don't know if this triangle was here before the update. I kind of want to go back to my first playthrough or season one or whatever you want to call it. Let's see if uh, that was there last time. Yeah, it's not there. Yeah, I don't know how to get this guy to spawn back in. I went to sleep. I restarted the game. I, I, I even poured out water and stuff. I don't know where it is. And some of you guys were saying apparently he might be on the loose. I guess I'll check all four locations where he could be. But right now, it looks like the cappuccino is just straight up gone. Yeah, Cappuccino's definitely not around here. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like I said earlier, apparently it's not going to be on a flying bug snack, the hat. So it's not going to be on like a cob hopper or like a cheap poof or anything like that, right? So uh, let me just go over to Sizzle and Sands, see if the Cappuccino's over there. If not, I guess we'll get the Sodi D over there. And I don't know whose arms and legs we're going to turn into. Maybe, maybe we'll do that to Crom, though. He's wanting us to do it to someone else. Maybe we'll just do it to him instead. Oh, wait, there it is right there. Wait, what? Now, this doesn't make any sense. How is there a cappuccino just on the loose? I never set one loose after the last one we caught. I guess someone actually commented saying, yeah, it's actually in Sizzle and Sands. I guess they're right, but I don't know why they're right. Huh, interesting. Let me know in the comments down below. Why do you guys think the cappuccino is spawned in? I guess that explains why it wasn't over in Boiling Bay or the Tropicus space anymore, huh? But now let's try and capture this cappuccino some other way than using the black olive, right? Uh, so that'd be using the spuddy, which by the way also likes, yeah, likes ketchup. I guess we'll go back to try and use the ketchup. <laughs> there you go. I've got plenty of ketchup. Let me get out of the way of the cappuccino. To make sure I'm not uh, going to spook it. There he is. And then, yeah, he runs past. So if I put, if I put ketchup there and make sure, oh yeah, yeah. Because the Sodi D is going to, oh no. The Sodi D is going to, he's going to like clean that, right? Yeah, there it is right there. Hold on. Put that back, put that back. Let me cover the cappuccino in the ketchup. There you go. He's covered in ketchup. No, they knocked each other. Man, <laughs> what timing? What heck in timing there? Well, there's the Sodi D right there. How am I going to get? How am I going to get the Sodi? No, no, I spoke. No. Is he going to run away or is he just continuing on his path? Okay, he's continuing on his path. Okay, okay. I think I'm going to have to lure him out of. Yeah. Let me let me lure him out. And then, yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's get the trip shot. Let me retreat the trip shot. I guess I'll make it go from like right here to here or something. Yeah, there you go. So if I do, actually, let me move the puggy ball. There you go. Let me put the trip shot like there. There you go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. the cappuccino looks like he's spooked by the uh, trip shot for some reason. Let me cover this in some hot sauce. Try and lure. There you go. There you go. He's trying to spray. He's trying to spray and go into the trip shot. And boom, we got the Sodi D. Okay, so now the Sodi D. Sodi. Sodi. Oh, man, I can't do that bubbling voice. I probably have to have something in my throat to make that weird bubbling, bubbling sound effect. <laughs> but now we have the Sodi D kind of out of the way. Now he's not going to spray the ketchup off of the uh, Spuddy. Which will, oh wait, hold on. Wait, which Spuddy? Oh, I must have picked up the Spuddy that was roaming around right here. Then, man, hold on. Uh, I guess yeah, you know, I can I can cover it in ketchup now, and it's not going to get washed off, which is good. So there you go. If I do this, if I cover the 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 cappuccino in ketchup. Ah, uh, man, yeah, yeah, let's get back to the buggy ball. Where in the world is the There, Okay, there's the Spuddy. That's good, there's the Spuddy. There's the Spuddy, so it's, it's going to track the Spuddy, but not the Lolive, because the Lolive likes cheese, not ketchup. So there you go, and if I hit the Cappuccino. Ah, oh, man, I just barely missed him. I just barely missed him there. But if I can keep the Spuddy in this general area, kind of close to the to the and I could also use the uh, flapjack rack it's, it's 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 almost morning time right now it's starting to get light out so the flapjack rack is probably going to be roaming around here pretty soon we could use that stack of pancakes there you go oh he's getting angry at me now no 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 no, no, no. do not spook the cappuccino is he still roaming around here or? okay he's still roaming around there you go there there's the bot uh that's a bunger <laughs> the uh, buggy ball and uh if I aim this at you hit you there you go no, no, he's running away. He's running away. Wait, no. Oh, is the Spuddy going? No. No, he's leaving to another. Oh, man. Ah, oh, he left to another area. I covered him in ketchup, but yeah, the Spuddy, Spuddy's way too slow. Yeah, see, the Lolive, even though he's kind of slow, he could fly, so he can kind of, like, shortcut and whatnot. Yeah. I, I guess after this, I don't know, the Buffalo Locust, would that be good? Flap, drag, flap a jack a rack, which I think is that. Yeah, there he is right there. 
I don't know, he might be kind of slow too. I feel like I need some way to slow him down or something if I want to catch him here without using a black lol of right. I guess we'll just fast travel to Frosted Peak, which by the way, like I keep saying, we're so close to, apparently so close to capturing him with the Scooby Banoopy. So if he's here, what's that sound? Sound like something exploded right there. If he's here, oh yeah, then we need to get the Mount Sodi. So how do we get him? How do we get the Mount Sodi over here? We'd probably need to, yeah, probably, I, I guess the same way that we caught the uh, Sodi D, right? Just kind of lure him out of the water and then hit him, hit him on a trap here, I guess. So let's get the buggy ball. Cover in anything. Let's do let's do peanut butter because there's plenty of peanut butter around here. So there you go. Try and lure him out of that. There you go. Lure him out of the water. In into the into the trip shot, which we're going to shoot like so. Whoa! Oh, he got he got spooked. I think nothing nothing actually knocked him back there. I guess he just kind of got spooked. So hold on. Can he can he? Is he going? To, okay. Oh, he can see it from all the way over there. That's good. So come over here. There you go. Oh, he's. Oh man, that was easy. <laughs> he got rid of the campfire. Sody. <laughs> I still can't do that like bubbling sound effect. I don't know how they did that. There he is right there. There he is. So if I, if I get the Shrabby, see, let's get let's get the scoop, let's get the buggy ball to come this way. Oh no, he's coming over here to attack me. No. Get the chocolate. Get the chocolate. Hit him. Hit the cappuccino. Hit the cappuccino. Cappuccino. No, he ran away. Ah, now I'm on fire. No, jeez. Man, now the cappuccino's in a different area. Golly. Yeah, this could be pretty tough. Well, I guess we'll go to another. Let's go to Snacksburg real quick, though. At least we got the Mount Sodi here. We got the Sodi D. We have the, the Less Sodi. We just need to get this, the Dr. Sodi next. And then we'll be able to turn all of a... Uh, oh, hey, look, there's a cappuccino right there. As well as a little cheery. Hold on, what's that? Oh, there's another run. <laughs> The great Skeeto with the big old butt. Oh, well, oh yeah, and then we can pet him. Skeeto. Grape Skeeto. Yeah, look at that tiny little explorer hat on him, that little Lisbur hat. Or is that a uh, Triffany hat? I can't tell. Oh yeah, the Triffany hat's kind of a tan color. Oh wow, perfect. Yeah, we're going in this area anyways to get the Dr. Sodi. So let's go there right now to hopefully find another hat. And then I guess after we're done, we can go over to Flavor Falls and hopefully find the uh, Cappuccino again. There we go, let's check this bunger. He's not wearing a hat. Hold on, is there something else around here? Is there a... Oh yeah, I, th I think you guys said it's not going to be on a... Uh, what is this thing called? Yeah, snack pod. Yeah. Snack pod. I think you guys said it's not going to be on a flying bug snack or a snack pod. Uh, the hat is. So if I do that... Oh wow, that actually caught him, but I'm full right now. Yeah, I'm going I'm going to get rid of... Yeah, we have two white straight. Let's get rid of one of them. There you go. Sturdy? And uh, let's check the... I don't see anything on the Friday, so where could it be then? Yeah, I don't know where it is, you guys. I, I guess we'll just move on to the next area, which has a, a pretty crazy strategy to try and capture this thing, but at least we have all the, the sodies, so we'll be able to turn all of Kromdo's uh, limbs into different, like, soda cans, right? So <laughs> that'll be pretty funny. But let's go over here, and let's see. So I think what we need to do is lure it out of the cave by either spooking it or, you know, getting a... And there's a real shrabby there. And then, of course, trying to get it to run into the the, the, the Sandopede, which will just kind of knock it out, and then we'll be able to capture it, right? And then right here. Yeah, see, if it, if it runs out, it'll cross paths with the Sandopede there, but I kind of want to keep the Sandopede here. So maybe we can put some ranch or something on the ground? Because I think the Sandopede likes ranch. He likes ranch. He likes cheese, I think. Oh, yeah. And then we got the Inchworm guy here, too, which I, I tried off camera. That's why I have an Inchworm or an Inch Wrap. In my inventory. Is he, is he even here, by the way? Uh, I don't think he's here. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, okay, so. I think I'm going to try and purposely spook him this time. Because off camera, I tried to lure him with the buggy ball, and that, that spooked him anyways, but I had no luck there. But there's the... Okay, there's... Uh, the sand up, he just passed by. So if I if I spook him on purpose, is he going to, like, run away? There he is, there he is, there he is. Spook him. Okay, there you go, there he goes. <laughs> See if I can spook him now. Let, let, let me get some, let me get some ranch. Where is the sandipede? Where's he going to go? Was he going to get hit? No, I, I need to cover the. There he is. There he is. Cover him in cheat or a uh, ranch or something. I don't know if I can get the sandipede to attack. Sandipede, come on! Whoa, it worked! It worked! He hit his butt. He hit the sandipede butt. We got him. How did that work? He ran into the sandipede and knocked himself out. I think that's what happened right there. <laughs> okay, well. Shrabby white wee melon. Oh, he's so cute. 
Palletas, Crispy. Yeah, let's get rid of one of the snack pods. So now we got another cappuccino. Cappuccino! Cappuccino! And, and pitch that up to make it make it sound like the cappuccino right there. <laughs> but there you go, you guys. Let's go back to Snacksburg. And I guess we'll get... I don't know, should we turn this to another part, or should we just have nothing but Cavachitos out in Gramble's farm, or barn, or whatever this is over here, I don't know. <laughs> but now now we can turn, oh, and there's Gramble right there. Hello. Yeah, Gramble, what are your, what, what is your, what, yeah, what is this? Do you need help? What is this for? <sighs> I suppose so. Even though we're home, the little ones are still restless. I think they might be getting lonely. After all, the barn used to be chock full of bug snacks. I'd be real grateful if you donate a few more bug snacks to my barn. M maybe a half dozen or so? Oh yeah, because I never did... did I, I, yeah, I donated a ton of them already. I guess we already finished this, huh? Yeah, I made my donation. Oh, they're all so cute! Thank you so much! Hopefully my little ones will settle down. Maybe I can even start training them again. <laughs> look at that centipede there with the, uh, I think it's a Lisbert hat, right? Yeah, look at that right there. <laughs> He's got the cappuccino yelling. Yeah, it looks like it might, like, keep, it, like, saves whatever hat they had on previously. This guy's always had the, uh, chef's hat on, which is funny. So we got a weenie worm over here with the Lisbert hat as well. And, uh, can't put anything, actually, I, can you put something on? I feel like I, because Gramble used to have, like, a, a strabby, like, a knitted, like, hat. You guys remember that? Actually, is it up here still? I feel like it was up here previously. Uh, well, yeah, so there was like the yarn there, and I guess he's knitting like a scarf or something next. Yeah, you guys remember at the beginning, before we like transformed him into this disgusting monster. <laughs> oh, hi. He used to have a shrabby like hat on. I wonder if we could actually find that and put it back on him. I don't know if we can. And uh, the next area, yeah, I didn't have any luck over there, unfortunately, but uh, let's read Cromdo's thing here and see if it says uh, put it on some other Grumpus. Yeah, pick a Grumpus and give him sodium. Yeah, it doesn't say any specific Grumpus, so I guess I'll just do it back to you. <laughs> you wanted me to give this to, uh, hold on. Here we go, feed. You wanted me to turn everyone else's limbs into, uh, sodas, but... <laughs> gonna turn all your limbs into sodies. So there you go. Oh, I guess it just turns them into straws then, huh? There you go. There's, uh, La Sodi. Here's Dr. Sodi. So it's kind of like a teal-looking straw. And yeah, the, the Dr. Sodi is just a red straw there. We got Mount Sodi. I guess it's just a green straw, huh? Oh, wait, no, it's just an actual can for his thighs. <laughs> Hold on, where's the other one at? Oh, there it is right there, Sodi D. And there you go. Oh, yeah, see, look at that. that. That got his quest done right there. I didn't have to turn his whole entire limbs into a... Uh, I'll do it anyway, so. Hold on, Mount Sodi. Yep, there you go. Oh, ew. Let's do uh, Sodi D for the other man where is it on there it is right there the other leg there you go yeah it's just like sh bent straws right there we got lasodi here oh, okay so it's just a can for the hand instead of the uh like bicep there huh then was that one over there oh yeah dr sodi where's that at there it is let's do that and there you go cool so now he's got like a flaming hot cheap poof like everything else and then sodi limbs which is funny because <laughs> he wanted me to do it to someone else but he got it to himself instead and i think we finished his mission which means we go to the mailbox over here right yep and let's see what we got from Cromdo. <laughs> ah, nice work on that Sodi Grumpus. You mean, you mean yourself? <laughs> Doesn't seeing that just make you thirsty? Of course it does. That's mobile marketing, baby. I'm gonna be rich. And also you, maybe. <laughs> he gave me a single hanging bulb. That's trash. <laughs> Donate the mystery bug snack. Okay, so another Gramble bug snack uh, donation here, huh? Let's see what he wants. Whenever I'm in the forest, I get startled by a bug snack that jumps from tree to tree. Uh, but it's so fast, I don't even know what it is. Even so, I'd love to have one in my barn, please. So donate, I think he wants a cob hopper. Cause the binopper, actually there are two binoppers, aren't there? There's like a yellow one and like a brown one. Hold on. Oh yeah, the red binopper, that's what. Yeah, so we don't want the red binopper cause he sails in the forest, right? So it's not going to be the binopper or the red binopper because binopper's from Frosted Peaks. Yeah, so it's gotta be the cow hopper over in, what's it called again? Flavorful, no, not flavorful, Garden Grove. I always forget the name of this. Yeah, it's gotta be the cob hopper. So if we want to capture the cob hopper, I think I think we did that previously by just putting a, I think just a trip shot from tree to tree or something like that, and yeah. So we can go over here to uh, Garden Grove and get another uh, bug snack hat. So let's go to Garden Grove, capture this cob hopper for Gramble. I don't know what this is that apparently has a hat here. Oh wait, no, there he is right there. Wait, what hat is that? Oh, that's the press hat. Look at that. Okay, so we gotta get a fighter. So, well, let me let me actually scan him to figure out his uh. Oh wait, 
that. Wait, what happened there? I don't know how I just caught him right there. Hold on. Or uh, <laughs> I made him fall off. I mean, <laughs> hold on. Let me get let me get ketchup because I assume he's got to be attracted to ketchup, right? That's the wrong one. I want to get the other one. Let's get the snack trap. That one right there. Yes. No, I got the wrong one. No. Ah. Yeah. How do I? How do I? I guess I just let the timer go on then, huh? Yeah. Let's get a trip shot next. There you go. I guess I'll just do this then, huh? So there you go. And then covered in ketchup. There you go. And covered in. Boom. Oh, wait, now I've got to go up. Hold on. I think I can use the snack grappler. Friday. We got him. Friday. <laughs> Nuke snack hat. Clumby's hat. That's what it's called. Clumby's hat. And yeah. And we found Clumby's hat over in uh, Alligander Jamfoot's like triplicate area. Yeah. And you know what? Someone actually left a comment last episode. You guys need to go back to last episode and read this comment because they had a pretty good theory. Where do I, where can I pull this up on? Man, I don't know how to pull that up, but you guys know that, that mail that we were, oh, would it be this? Mail, oh, here, yeah, here it is right here. Yeah, see, this says it's been signed off by someone named B. Who could that be? Because Alligander Jamfoot, that doesn't, neither of those, first, last name, neither of them will start with a B, so. And then, of course, Clumby Clumberfoot or whatever her name was. That's just C, so it's not B. So whoever mailed this to us was not Alligator Jamfoot or Clumby Clumberfoot or whatever. It starts with B, but I don't know who that could be. <laughs> Lisbert, no. Wambus. It couldn't have been Befica. Triffany, Wiggle, Gramble. Yeah, there's no one here. It starts with the letter B. Huh. So I don't know who, except for, hold on. Yeah, related to Bronica Lottablog? That's the only name I could think of other than Bafika, of course. Bronica Lottablog, her, her Triffany's grandmother, the famed explorer. So maybe Bronica Lottablog is the one who sent us this. You have what you need to enter a very special place if you do not know the way Gruntbeard will show you. Huh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys think Bronica sent this letter? I wonder if it ever like tells you because it's always going to be like a, a question mark right there, huh? Anyways, uh, what were we doing? Oh yeah. So we got Clumby's hat right there, I guess. So I, I was curious about this last time. Like, what happens? Because we already had five hats before. Now we have six. Like, what, what does the hat rack look like now? Because it was already full. Is, is there going to be a second hat rack or hat rack? Or is Go it? on, Charlie. Oh. Just follow Papa's pointer. Or, or don't. That's fine, too. <laughs> How's training? We're off to a bit of a slow start. Oh, it went so easy with Sprout. I just don't know what's going wrong now. Maybe, maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he could show Charlie the ropes. What do you say? Uh, sounds good. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe next episode. I don't know how long this video is with all the stuff I'm cutting out, uh, but maybe, maybe later. Maybe later, because I, th I think that's when we use Sprout to kind of train Charlie through the, like the, the obstacle course that Gramble sets up. But yeah, so there's, yeah, there's five hats here and we're missing. Which hat are we missing? Hold on. Oh, yeah. Shelter's, Shelter's crown. I guess it just rotates five random hats from now on, huh? Because there's like apparently like 20 something hats. Yeah, it's got to just rotate like five random hats or something then, huh? Yeah, I don't know where they're at, though, but uh, there's Char Wee. I don't know where we can get the other. Uh, hey, looks like, yeah, I, I, you know what? Yeah, let's do this mission for Gramble real quick, though. Oh, yeah, about that train. Let's help train Char Wee real quick. And maybe after this, we'll end off the episode. Maybe, maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he could show Char Wee the ropes. What do you say? Let's do it. Sounds good to me. Yeah, this wasn't too hard if I remember. Alrighty. Now just use Sprout to lead Charwee back to my barn. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we, we gotta use Sprout. And the uh, we already have the laser pointer. So there you go. There's Charwee. Hold on. I, I gotta cover what what is Charwee like again? Oh yep, yeah, he loves chocolate. So we gotta cover it in chocolate to get him to follow Sprout. There you go. And there you go, he sees it. Awesome. And look at this. Huge obstacle course set. Gramble set up and don't run into Triffany. There you go. Oh, no, no, don't go backwards. Go this way. Yep. <laughs> There's Cappuccino Philbo right there. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, you have to run. Wiggle just killed Sprout right there, basically. Whoops. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, Sprout, there you go. Can we back in chocolate again? Hopefully, I'll run out of chocolate. Yeah, let's go a different direction to not get run in by uh, Triffany or Wiggle or even Philbo, I think, right? There's Triffany right there. Oh, don't get hit. Don't get hit. Okay, there's Triffany. Okay, let's go. Go, go, go. It looks clear. Go this way. There's Philbo there. Let's go through here. There we go. No! 
Don't kill, do not kill. Why are you guys, what a, why? Bethlehem and Wiggle, you just sought out Sprout on purpose to kill him. Man, uh, I literally just said that this was pretty easy, but now I'm having trouble with it. <laughs> Hold on, there you go. So if I, if I get the buggy ball, I don't, I don't, I don't think Triffany, I don't think, I don't know if Triffany actually does anything to it. Does she? Oh yeah, let's go this way. There's Bethlehem there. There you go, there, there, there's a Queeble. Or shall we the Queeble? Oh, no, 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 do not kill him, do not kill him, go this way. Go, 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 before you get, get killed. Where's Charwi at? Okay, there you go. There's Charwi. There you go. <laughs> oh, no, Wampus, do not kill Sprout. There you go. Okay, good, 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 good. Then ramp off into the into the barn. There you go. Charwi! Oh, who's a good boy? Charwi's a good boy. Yes, he is. So there we go, finally. <laughs> well, it's a start. But I'm a long ways off from teaching them to spell out, we love you, Papa. <laughs> Why, I have to cover myself in sauce every morning just to get them to pay attention to me. But that's just the way it goes. You pour every little bit of love you got into somebody and you just hope they notice. Hmm. Well, hopefully, uh, and where's Charwe at right now, by the way? Oh, I guess he's like put up somewhere or something, I guess. But yeah, eventually Charwe will grow onto you. Let's see, there's a flaming Hot Sheep Oof. There's a Bunger. There's a barbecue bunger. Then we got a grape skeeto, a green grape skeet, grape skeeto. And we got another strabby with an explorer hat, and of course the cappuccino with his favorite hat. And we got another enchurito <laughs> there. And we got Shelter's crown on a little palate or a, which one's it? Yeah, this is a palate toss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, oh yeah, another thing I was going to mention. Uh, I think we have enough time in this video to talk about it, but I was talking about the tapes last episode. I was like, oh man, we have we have one through five already. Apparently, it's tape zero that you guys were talking about. There's tape zero. And you guys were saying I get that by interviewing Egabel. So let's go to Frosted Peak. I don't know where Egabel is right now. I, I, I assume, is she, is she by the doors over here? Let me go double check this real quick. So can I talk to her now? Because apparently you guys said I could actually interview her now, which I feel like, didn't I interview her beforehand? I don't know, maybe, maybe I didn't. So yeah, there, there she is right there, yeah. And yeah, she's like all like scoopy banoopy stuff, right? <laughs> so can I just talk to you now or? Okay. Yeah, I, I, I guess I'll just talk to you with your eye patch and your <laughs> split banana nose. I never did a yeah, there you go, right there. I, I guess this is it right here, huh? I never did get a real interview with you. Let's do this. Oh, uh, right, right. Uh, you are a journalist after all. Honestly, I'm nothing special, but if you really want to know more about me, I'll answer your questions. All right, let's start the interview. Yeah, we haven't done interviewing forever. And I guess they just added this to the game, huh? Well, let's start out with who are you? Oh, what? <clears throat> Dr. Egabel Batternugget, MD. All right, <laughs> Dr. Egabel Batternugget, MD. What is your medical specialty? Well, in school, I focused on endocrinology, but uh, the clinic I worked at was so small. In practice, I wound up doing family medicine. Okay, why come to Snack Tooth Island? Come on, you know why. <sighs> Lizbert said I didn't have to come, that she'd be back to see me whenever she could, but I wasn't going to let myself get left behind. Yep. What are your thoughts on bug snacks, especially the cheery, your favorite bug snack? They're a perfectly balanced source of nutrition with upsetting side effects that are otherwise harmless. <laughs> upsetting side effects. But other than that, they're harmless, right? All right, doctor, but how do they make you feel? They make me feel like... For a little while, nothing else in the world matters. And that can be nice sometimes. Hmm. What do you think about my bug snacks allergy? Yeah. Wait, you're allergic to bug snacks? What have you been eating all this time? Uh, yeah, I've been eating sauce just like Ramble. <laughs> I've always been hungry for a scoop. Now it's just to say, yeah, we've been eating sauce mostly. Uh, okay, good. It's not the healthiest diet long term. But Gramble and Shelda are doing all right. Mm, I'll give you a checkup once we've brought Liz back home. I'd hate to break it to you, but Shelda's not really on an all-sauce diet. Like, she makes it out to believe. I'm like, just look at her. She's like, what? She's like, she's got the body of a, a, a sodi and like limbs that are, I forgot what we made her limbs recently. Oh yeah, like coconut, like limbs, like arms and legs and stuff. <laughs> yeah, she definitely eats bug snacks. She doesn't eat just sauce. Why did you leave town? 
We've covered that already. Oh, yeah. Uh, we already covered why she left town because Lisbert. Well, actually, yeah, Lisbert was going on an adventure and then Agabel just kind of joined her because she wanted to prove that she was strong or something like that, right? Any info on Lisbert, though? Do you know where she is? Even though we already know the answer, so we'll see what Agabel knows. <laughs> I know everything about Liz, but somehow she's still a mystery to me. It's been like that since day one. Hmm. All right, well, I guess that... Oh, no, we have another question here. How did you two meet? Yeah, curious about that. I was working at my clinic in the middle of nowhere, thinking about how, once again, I didn't have any plans for the weekend. When Elizabeth Megafig literally kicked down my door and immediately passed out. <laughs> she just, like, flopped on the floor and that's how you met? That's such a weird story there. Yeah, whoa, what happened to her? Her injuries were pretty serious. Bone fractures, full body contusions, and way less blood than she ought to have. When she was conscious again, she told me all about her adventures. The ruin collapse that nearly killed her. The treasure of Grumsylvania. Everything. The second she could walk, Liz tried going right back to those ruins. <laughs> yeah, sounds just like Lizbert, always going on an adventure. And Well, yeah, we'll see what happens next. So what did you do after that? I couldn't stop her, so... I decided to go with her, hmm. just to make sure she'd be okay. And one amazing adventure later, I quit my job and left town with the love of my life. Well, there you go. Thank you. I have no more questions. Yeah, that answers about everything. Oh, we're done? Well, thanks for keeping me company. Hey, uh, you know how to use the projector, right? Here, take this. It's nice to look back on the good times once in a while, and I think you'd like to see it. Well, hey, there you go. Yep, tape number zero. You guys were right. You have to go interview Agabel, and then she gives you tape number zero. So, hey, let's go back to Snacksburg, give this a watch, and I guess we'll end off the episode. Well, I'll, I'll get back to it. Stay safe out there. All right, well, just fast travel or, uh, oh, yeah, we could feed. So what if we fed her? I think she's all, like... Scoopy Banoopy, right? I feel like, and then we got Banopper there. <laughs> nutty snack. Yeah, what does she look like if she's nothing but nutty snack pot? Ugh. Oh, she's got like cashew ears and a almond nose. What, what, what about the top? Oh, I guess you can't put anything on the top of her head like you can for the other uh, grumpuses, huh? Arms or cashews and almonds. Or maybe there's a peanut in there somewhere. I can't really tell. Body. Oh, gosh. Oh, ew. Change that immediately. Hold on. Just for curiosity. Oh, then she's got like weird like claws on her feet there. Oh, change that right now. Go to go to another Bacheries. Go to another Bacheries. Boom. But, oh, jeez. This is even worse. Oh. <laughs> I think I turned it into full on Cheeries before, but golly. I guess it kind of matches her first aid little med kit right there, right? But, god, oh, man, that looks nasty. She's got little, like, spring arms and legs and stuff. Ugh. Gosh. Well, at least you can see her pretty easily, right? Jeez. <laughs> All right, let's go back to Snacksburg. Let's go watch tape number zero, and I guess we'll end off the video right here, right? Golly. <laughs> all right, we're back. Let's go to the projector over here, and let's see what tape number zero is all about. Oh, well, Befica, you better get the, get the heck out of here. We got secret confidential information I'm about to play on the projector. You want to leave or not? Get out of here. Go. Yeah, yeah, goodbye. Okay, bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoo, shoo, get out. All right, can I sleep? Yeah, uh, 5 a.m. No one, no one should be awake at this time, right? She got, she's finally gone. Golly. Well, Chandler's running around at 5 a.m. Uh, Philbo's lighting the fire for some strange reason, but we got, uh, yeah, look at this. Video diary number zero. Let's see what this is all about. Is it, uh, is it on? Okay. Hey, Liz. While you're busy exploring Snack Tooth, I thought you might want to see how our town is coming together. I know you'll see it when you come back, but isn't it fun to watch a work in progress? Hey, Anger Pro! I was just asking Snorpy where we should put your crib! Oh, I don't know. I think anywhere would be fine, really. Nonsense! I'm looking to create the optimum tactical advantage here. Which direction does Lisbeth face when sleeping, and does she keep her eyes open? Or, uh, you'd have to ask Liz? But Lisbeth's gone, dog! We can't wait for her to come back! We need a decision now! Sounds like a job for Bilbo! I think Liz would want a place close to everybody. Chanlo, Snorpy, we're gonna put Liz and Egg's house right at the heart of town. We are, are we? And who exactly put you in charge? Uh, 
L Lisbert did? Um, wor weren't you at the meeting? Hmm, I don't recall that part. Everybody keeps forgetting that I'm kinda in charge. There's gotta be some way I can remind them. <laughs> I'm sure you'll think of something. Oh, speaking of my mayoral duties, I've been trying to come up with a name for our town. What do you think of Lisbertalia? Absolutely not! <laughs> Even I have to admit that's a little too Liz-centric. This place belongs to all of us. Oh, okay, yeah, good point, good point. Uh, so, what's something we all have in common? Well, we all like bug snacks, right? Of course! So, uh, something food-related, like, uh, Yumville, uh, Picnic Place, uh, Food... Berg. Mackington Square, the Hamlet of Eatsdale, Flavor Town! I kind of like Foodburg and Snackington's good, but a little too fancy. <laughs> what about Snacksburg? Snacksburg! I like it! And it does have a certain rustic charm. Then it's settled. As mayor, I hereby declare that our home will be named Snacksburg! Yo, Philbo! Don't we need to vote? This is a democracy, dog. Oh, yeah, uh, right. <clears throat> then, as mayor, I hereby declare that we will hold a referendum on whether to name our new home Snacksburg. Hooray! Well, hey, there you go. Uh, I guess that's the origins of how Snacksburg came to be and how how it got its name too. Interesting. But yeah. That's a pretty cool little detail there. I do wonder, because there's two more slots here. I do wonder if there maybe, maybe there's a video diary number six or seven or something like that here in the future. Or maybe right now it's just zero through five. I, I guess maybe that makes more sense, right? But anyways, there we go. We watched all the uh, tapes over here now, right? So that's pretty cool there. Anyways, I guess we'll just end off the video right here. I don't know how long this is going to be. Oh yeah, I guess we'll check our mail first. Then we'll end off the video. Oh, well, we got a letter from Lisbert. What? How did we get a letter from Lisbert? Well, I don't know how to do a Lisbert voice. I know she has like an Australian or New Zealand like accent, but I can't really do that too well. <laughs> I guess I'll just talk normally. To all of my friends in Snacksburg, I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it get built. Never forget that this town is something you made together. And also, please be less mean to Philbo. He's really trying. Lisbert, or just L. And then she gave a snack sprint right there, which I'm definitely going to be using. I guess it's going to be an indoor uh, little wallpaper there, huh? And a shrabby shelf, which you guys already know I'm definitely going to be using, golly. <laughs> but there we go. Said okay right there. Let's let's see. Can we customize the hut now? Oh, whoops. Uh, which button? This button. Here we go. So can I can I change the wallpaper? Yes, snack sprint. Oh, that's a That's just like the loading screen. And then this shrabby shelf. Oh, yep. <laughs> Inside the strappy shelf, we just got a big old skull, a grumpus skull with sunglasses on. Golly, I don't know if I like that. But look at this wallpaper here. Look at this. We got the green peel bug. We got the talk, talk roach. We got the quooky. We got the weenie worm. We got the cinna snail, pinkle, charmallow. We got the scoopy there. I think that's a cheap poof. I don't know which bunger that. Oh, yeah, that's got to be the. No, it's just a regular bunger. Yeah, because you got the curly fries there, and there's the uh, pinantula. We got the green lolive there, Palatos, white shrabby, there's the cheery, there's the white cheap poof, there's the noodler, and there's chili nilly. There's the, oh, and speaking of chili, there's chili nilly right there too. <laughs> there's the uh, melty snack pot, I think. Scorpino Enchirito, I think there. And I don't know what that is. I can't really tell because there's a picture in the way. Oh, that's the, the coconut thing, yeah. I forgot what that was actually called. We got the bop bop bopsicle. We got the honeybee. We got a ripple pee there too. Can I do it? Do I have a different bed here, by the way? Hold on. Build mode. Do I have a different bed I can, uh... Well, I guess the only other bed we... Oh, there's a queeble there. And there's a sprinkle pee there too. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'd rather have the cot than the uh, sleeping bag. It looks a little bit better. Hopefully we can get a better bed here in the future though. But for right now, so I guess speaking of bed, yeah. Let's actually sleep until... What time's it right now? 10, 10 a.m. Eh, sleep until 5 a.m. So it's basically... It's almost the entire day. So we get our... Uh, no, man, I thought maybe after that we'd be able to get our uh, upgrade, but I guess not, huh? So that kind of sucks. But yeah, look at that. We got some pretty cool decorations over here. We got the wallpaper change, all this kind of jazz. It's kind of crazy. Now, all we have to do is, uh... Oh, yeah, we have to get a cob hopper for Gramble, which I completely forgot about. I was distracted by getting the uh, Frider with the hat on him. <laughs> then uh, this right here. Oh, yeah, we have to scan a honeybee with a basketball stuck to it. So <laughs> we have to do that for uh, Befica. Then we have, uh... Oh, Vita Baja Tacroach. 
to the mystery Grumpus, and I guess this would be Chandlo. This is healthy and training, and he's always training and whatnot, right? And this one right here. Uh, oh, slipped on, but not for instance, my sack of laundry flying at Sakai. Oh, find lost item for Philbo. Yeah, I don't know where this is going to be. Stuck up high, could you help me get it down? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just in a high spot in Snacksburg or something like that. We're, we're going to have to look around here for this. Uh, maybe next episode. Then this right here for Shelda purge a green crapple. So I guess just catch one and then donate it to Shelda's little, little like box of purity or whatever it's called, right? And of course she's going to eat it. <laughs> but yeah, these, these missions we'll be able to do, I guess we'll do next episode. So definitely look forward to that. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Bug Snacks in the Isle of Big Snacks comes out because there's still a lot more missions we could do. And as you guys saw this episode, there's still a lot of stuff that they added to the game. So I wonder what else they added to the game. And thankfully, we figured out what was going on with that cappuccino like phenomenon, right? So, so I guess now we can go back to the triplicate area and maybe spawn in another one, right? Uh, unless there's already just one on the loose right now. I don't know. Let's go to Sizzling Sands just to check. Maybe Boiling Bay or something next. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I think I did my full outro right there. Like button, subscribe button, bell, all that kind of jazz. You guys know the deal, right? Uh, I do not see one there. I guess we'll go to Boiling Bay real quick and double check there, but pretty sure we might need to spawn one in. I guess I'll check up on the triplicate space real quick. All right, loading into the triplicate space. Yep. There he is, the Cappuccino. Finally, he respawned back over here. Yeah, I don't remember releasing a third one. Do you guys remember me recently releasing a third one? I'm pretty sure I never did, and I don't think I cut it out of the video or anything like that. I don't know how this guy just got on the loose because we caught him and then tried to spawn in another one, but one was already on the loose, I guess? That's kind of weird. But either way, yeah, definitely look forward to next episode where I guess we'll let another one of these guys loose. And let me know in the comments down below because we still have one in our inventory, don't we? Let me know in the comments down below. What should we do? Yeah, there he is right there. What should we even do with this extra cappuccino? Because we already fed one to Philbo and turned him into nothing but cappuccino. We already donated one to Gramble's farm. Let me know in the comments down below. What should we do with this third cappuccino? Should we turn someone else into full on cappuccino? Or should we release it or something? I don't know. Let me know in those comments down below. But until next episode, I guess I'll just end it off right here. So like I said earlier, like button, subscribe button, bell, all that kind of jazz. You guys already know the deal by now. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more bug snacks in the Isle of Big Snacks. Oh, bye there. <laughs>